the first thing that the occupation did when they entered the country, they dismantled the Iraqi uh, uh, army and the uh, security forces. And that has led to the encouragement and encouraged the terrorists and terrorism to enter into the country from the uh, neighboring countries and because the borders were, were not uh, secured. Um, and that, of course, uh, uh, created a vacuum in the country and, of course, increased the, the conflict and the sectarian division and the terrorism and, and, and uh, the militias that had been created uh, which are affiliated to the to the uh, party leaders, so we're ruled actually by 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 militias now. So all these factors have contributed to the uh, deterioration of the socio-economic situation of the Iraqi citizen at large. From governance perspective, I think the the. The Iraqi uh, governance environment is, is really very fragile. And if we talk about uh, uh, the most vulnerable group among the Iraqi society, uh, we can talk about the youth, the women and children, but because of my experience and my, and as, as, as an Iraqi woman, I can talk about the suffering of the Iraqi women and how the EU system introduced for occupation, and of course they, they brought those bunch of, of, of uh, political leaders. So uh, um, I think that Iraqi women have, have lost and all the gains that they have made over decades, you know, fighting for their rights uh, um, due to the uh, mentality of the, the uh, inc increased uh, 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 the 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 politician who are you know they they came from a you know religious background and they wanted to impose impose uh, the Sharia and not uh, uh, you know uh, the interpretation of the wrong interpretation of uh, Sharia and one of the uh, 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 Drawback is the introduction of the family law. You know, the family law governs the, the women's right in terms of uh, inheritance, in terms of custody, children custody. And we had in Iraq the most advanced uh, 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 family law in the region. Uh, the, the, the family law introduced is very uh, divisive and very uh, um, backwarded. And uh, uh, I think I think this is one of the drawbacks for for Iraqi Iraqi uh, women. Illiteracy rate illiteracy rate has increased among uh, Iraqi women because uh, um, because of the economic situation, families would favor boys to go to school over over girls. Disparity in the in the income. Uh, between men and women, the unemployment rate has risen uh, three, four times uh, before before the occupation. The faces of, of Iraqi women, and you see the fear, despair, uh, fear for their family, for the future of their family. The increase in the number of the displaced uh, people, and the majority are women and, and children. Uh, and there is no no media, no nobody is shedding any lights on the life of those those displaced people in those miserable uh, camps uh, all over Iraq. When I talk to Iraqi women, they cannot look in the in the in the eyes. Their eyes just just you know moves because because of the mental disturbance and the the, the you know the sufferings and the. Uh, uh, um, the fear from the future, and I, I always wonder why the Americans spent billions of dollars to destroy a country and not really keeping the system, taking out the dictator out of the system, and then try to help Iraqis to rebuild. Uh, uh, I mean, with that money, we could have built hundreds of thousands of, of schools and, and uh, primary health care centers, hospitals, 
and uh, created a, a, you know, a, a good infrastructure for, for Iraq because there is no service. Service delivery is, is, is zero in Iraq. So I, I really, I always, I always think with myself, you know, why, why? That wasn't the, the plan of a, a superpower country like America. Uh, but the displaced people, I mean, I mean the, 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 uh, the, the, the rate of rape and, and sexual assault that I hear from women is really makes me, make me uh, uh, really miserable. Well, of course, the, the occupation is accountable for, uh, for all the miserable situations that women and children and elderly and youth, every citizen in Iraq, of course, except the politicians. So they are accountable for their uh, miseries and their um, deteriorated um, situation at all levels.